guys, this is Sanjeev Thomas and I'm here at Rainbow Bridge uh, and I'm here today to uh, well, as per a popular request to show you a, a few things on how I've uh, played my version of Chick Kelly. and to start with I would like to tell you that I, I, I mean you guys would have figured this out already but um, Chick Kelly is played on the dad gat tuning and not the standard tuning so let me explain the dad gat tuning which is the E lower E string becomes D A remains A D remains D G remains G B becomes A and E becomes D so that is D A D G A D so that's dad gat in short so that's the tuning that's, uh, that that uh, has been uh, played on and uh, to start with let's see the first uh, half of chicken let's uh, let's have a close up Okay guys, so since now you've seen the close-up of both the left hand and the right hand, I'm just going to quickly summarize on how uh, these shapes are. I mean, since uh, these are not, um, I can only explain it as shapes since it's, it's, it's another tuning. And uh, so I'm going to quickly go through the chord shapes so that you, you, know, you can figure out these on your own when you have time. Um, so the first chord is actually... Uh, kind of a, I mean if you were supposed to play it in a standard tuning it would be a D with a E bass but right now it's a, uh, it's basically a shift of the A minus 7 into the third fret so that's that's the shape of the chord okay so that's so you do a kind of a hammer and a pull off uh, both at the same time Then you kind of go to a shape like an A7 kind of shape on the third fret after that with an A bass this time. You can go from an F 
into an E position also after that, just to give you a continuing uh, response. <laughs> shape on the third fret which then later goes to the A7 uh, scale shape uh, chord shape into the third fret and then you go to this shape which is basically like a uh, three fingers holding the sixth fifth and the fourth strings together now these are chords that you can get throughout the neck with this dab get tuning your own progressions uh, with these chords all over the neck. And then after that, uh, so basically it's a chromatic going down from um, you know, from this A position, that's the fifth fret, to G, F sharp, and F, I mean in this tuning that is. And then you go to a D major just an A note on it. Go to the C and then the B flat, G major, A major, C again, G, A, C the second time. D, C, B flat. So many things that you can add to this. I mean, uh, you've heard the original song that I've uh, come up with, but you know, there's so many of these uh, juicy elements that you can keep adding, um, you know, uh, in your riff and your progressions, like stuff like. <laughs> I mean, just to give you a gist of uh, how the song uh, was made uh, with uh, this tuning, and I hope I, you know what I've said has uh, kind of made sense in a way, and I hope to see you soon. Yeah.